So now I'd like you to head over to firebase.google.com. From here, we can select add project and add a new Firebase project. Simply give yours the name of something like shopping list and select it inside of the country that you are currently living in. Then hit start and we'll be navigated to the Firebase dashboard. When we do get to our dashboard, I want you to select add Firebase to your web application. Now what may be tempting to click add Firebase to your iOS app or add Firebase to your Android app, but because we're adding it to a web app, which is technically what we're doing, we need to select this button. You should then get a pop-up which contains some information. What we want to do is copy everything inside of this config file. So this should be things like your API key, your auth domain, database URL, and so on. At this point in time, we don't want the firebase.initialize app and we don't want the script tags up top here. We simply only want this object. Once we have that information, we're going to go back over to our project and we're gonna make a new file inside of the app folder called firebase.credentials.ts. I'm then gonna export a new constant named firebase underscore config. That's going to be a JavaScript object. And inside of this JavaScript object, we're going to put our API key, auth domain, database URL, and so on. So that object that you copied from the previous screen you should now paste it inside of the object. Yours will evidently be different than mine and it will contain the appropriate information. Once we have that, the next thing to do is head back over to our terminal. And now I want to install using npm install both Firebase and Angular Fire 2. If you're using the latest versions of Node and npm, you won't have to add dash dash save to this. Once that has completed, we can head back over to our project and inside of our root app module.ts, I want to add something to the imports and that will be the Angular Fire module. And we can import the Angular Fire module from Angular Fire 2. And we can then use this by saying dot initialize app. And we want to initialize the app with the Firebase underscore config, which comes from our credentials file. So we can import that Firebase config from dot slash Firebase dot credentials. As far as setup goes, the final thing we need to do is now import the Angular Fire database module. This is imported from Angular Fire 2 slash database. Once we have done that, we should now be able to use both Angular Fire and the database inside of our application. In the next lecture, we'll configure the homepage and start getting some test data on screen.